hello friends this is Umesh and here in this video I am going to introduce you this nice little evaluation kit uh, I want to say thank you to uh, SPJ Embedded System Private Limited they have facilitated this board to binaryupdates.com a website and I am using this evaluation board to teach you how to write the code for LPC2148 microcontroller um, I recommend you to buy this kit because uh, this is very um, interesting kit it has this module uh, it, it has this separate module where you can see uh, LPC2148 microcontroller is there. Uh, it has some bunch of LEDs and switches that you can uh, use it to pull up the I.O. pins of the microcontroller. You can see there is a 16x2 character LCD. Uh, there is one uh, UART0 um, uh, serial connector is there. Uh, we also have a buzzer. Uh, we have this potentiometer to test your ADC functionalities and there is a one uh, small little sensor which is LM35 that you can use it to you know read the temperature from the LM35 uh, sensor uh, and there are some bunch of pins that have been drawn out of the board and uh, this uh, this pins has uh, represent I2C communication uh, so you can have the I squared C uh, and um, uh, spy communication so I think uh, they have made it a really interesting board they have uh, pulled all the IO pins uh, outside uh, to this um, kit so even if you want to develop something which is not there onto the board you can use the pins uh, IO headers and you can connect to your sensor or anything that you have and then you can use this board I, I, I really love this board I, I don't know how much does it cost but it seems to be very interesting if you're watching this video on YouTube, then you may find the link down below in the YouTube description box, where you will be, um, you will see the price and everything about this board. So the goal of this video is to, uh, you know, teach you how you can use this evaluation kit. And um, as a part of first video, I think I will show you how to power up this board and how to connect the serial communication to, um, I mean how to program this LPC2148 over uh, serial communication uh, using ISP mode. So very first uh, for any microcontroller kit we need to power up this board. So uh, we need um, a wall adapter here in this case we need a 6 volt and 500 milliampere. So let me plug in to the DC jack and uh, power on this board so as you can see right now this board has been powered up you can see there is a uh, black boxes onto the LCD um, and uh, everything is good to go with uh, the next step you have to do is uh, to program this uh, LPC2148 into ISP mode you need to have the uh, USB to UART cable and uh, in this case I am using this one uh, uh, this USB 2 UART cable has been designed by SPJ Embedded itself. So I'm using this um, I'm using this uh, converter cable, and uh, the one thing that you have to do is you have to connect this um, uh, DB9 connect to the DB9 connector, this uh, serial cable. And uh, here is you can see this um, connector. This is female header, and we have to connect this serial cable to this female header. So we can have the access for UART zero. Uh, make sure whenever we program this uh, LPC2148 um, over uh, ISP mode, then we have to make sure that we will be using UART zero, not UART one. So here is a UART zero for this evaluation board. I'm not sure which board you will use, but most of the evaluation kit has the UART uh, pin has been drawn out. So let me connect this. So now I have connected this uh, um, USB to UART uh, cable and uh, whenever we connect this uh, cable first time uh, we see this LED blinks two time. Uh, that means we have, um, I mean actually this, uh, uh, this LPC2148 is in the auto mode, auto ISP mode. So we don't have to, you know, press the button sequence, I mean, uh, ISP and then reset and then release reset and then ISP pin. So that we don't need to have. If we do it in manual mode, then we may need to do. So there are different variety of boards in the market and uh, you must have to make sure before 
you will use uh, any board so but for this board you just need to connect this uh, uh, USB to UART uh, cable and uh, you just have to check the LED blinks two time and if that blinks two time that means everything is fine and you just have to connect this uh, the other end of this uh, USB to UART to goes to the uh, computer and once you are done with this you have to do a little bit of a configuration install the driver for um, this uh, USB to UART and then we gonna um, load the hex file into the LPC2148 microcontroller so let's see how it's been done so when we connect serial to USB converter first time to the computer we see something like this we can see there is a yellow uh, warning symbol is here at the COM27 it means that we don't have install the drivers that we need to have for our serial to USB converter so first thing we have to do is we have to install those drivers so I have copied these drivers on the desktop so here is a driver that we need to install so let me install this first hit on next and hit on next again it may take for a while so as you can see right now there is a silicon laboratories and device updated it depends now we have installed the drivers that we need to have so hit on finish and if we go back now to the device manager we can see the COM port 28 has been recognized and LO symbol has been gone so now we have successfully installed all those drivers that we need to have for our cable so close this so let's have a look at flash magic tool We will be using this flash magic to upload the hex file into the LPC2148 microcontroller. So first make sure that you have right device selected that is LPC2148 in this case. And then you have to make sure right COM port has been selected. Here in this case it's a COM27 so just make it 28. Then you have to make sure the baud rate 38400 is good to go with and then make sure the interface ISP and then make sure again the frequency that we will be clocking so it's a 12 megahertz and everything is okay right now so just go to option and hit on advanced options and you have to find this hardware config uh, tab in this hardware config you have to check these two boxes and then hit on ok okay so most of the things has been done we just have to check some more boxes here so erase block used by hex file that we have to check and then we have to check this verify after programming okay then we only need to browse the hex file that we want to load into the microcontroller's flash memory so hit on browse uh, i have created the project on a desktop that is a blink that's a blink example so let me select this hex file and hit on open and then just click on start once I hit on start you can see the loading has been done and now you can see our device that is LPC2148 has been programmed and as you can see right now this uh, LED started blinking I hope you can see it I'm not sure the lights because they are not pretty interesting at the moment but you can see LED is blinking so let me change the code let me write another code and in, in this uh, application I will show you how to give the input human input to the switches to the microcontroller so let me write another code and you can see this um, LED stop blinking right now so now it's been done now it's been programmed so let me uh, press this LED one so when I uh, I'm sorry it's not a LED one it's a switch one so when I press the switch uh, you can see this LED will glow I'm not sure you can see it but when I press this uh, okay let me hold this uh, kit this way and when I press this switch number one you can see the LED will glow the second third and the fourth I'm not sure you can see it in the camera or not but uh, you know I think uh, this is enough to show you that the things are working fine.